Welcome to Afra's Artifacts, where we do some archaeology of our own and dig into the queer side of Star Wars. I'm your host, Alia Morgane, and it's so great to have you here. Well, today we're going to be talking about Monty Calais from the adult novel Resistance Reborn that takes place between The Last Jedi and The Rise of Skywalker. So, Monty Calais is a First Order cadet from a small Corellian town who, in appearance, looks to be as committed as they come. But as we will find out, he has some reservations that he didn't even realize were bubbling under the surface when he sees a horde of criminals being held to begin hard labor. So the First Order is like, and this all takes place on Corellia, Monte Calais stories on Corellia. So the First Order is like, oh, you know, we're reforming these criminals. We're reforming them with hard labor and they will understand the error of their ways. And Monty's like, D I, mm, that doesn't sound right to me. And so we get this wonderful passage from this novel where Monty is trying to figure out how he feels about the entire situation. And I am going to read it in this video. It is a long passage, but it is so powerful and really in depth. And I love every word of it. Um, but before we get started on his questioning of the First Order, um, I want to say that we know that he is gay because um, in the scene I was talking about in the last video about the non-binary collective agent, um, Monty gets his ID read by Krillian security officers while the collective agent is in the bathroom. And a list of known acquaintances pops up. And the narrative says, He blushed when he saw his ex's name. Monty hadn't thought about him for ages and preferred not to be reminded. So, he's gay! Yay! Um, and I love that we have this character who, on the outside, with haircut appropriately short, uniform impeccable, on the outside appears to be really, really into the First Order. Um, but in the depths of his psyche, he begins to question. So, this is how it goes. Monty says... I haven't, this is the a conversation with the collective agent that we talked about a couple weeks ago. So Monty says, I haven't joined the resistance or the collective or any of it. I, I don't, I didn't lose anybody. He shook his head for emphasis. I'm just doing the right thing. At least he thought he was. When he'd seen the prisoners last night, all shackled and broken, something inside him had shifted. And the way Wincher lorded over them, Wincher's his boss, by the way, his glee at seeing their suffering, his platitudes about reform through hard labor when anyone with half a brain knew those prisoners had been tortured just by looking at them. Most of them could barely stand. Monty hadn't liked it. No, more than that. He had felt it was wrong, morally wrong. The intensity of the emotion had surprised him. He hadn't been part of the First Order for very long, and for the most part, he had no complaints. Wincher Brat was perhaps not the best boss, but he was no worse than the handful of others that Monte Calais had worked under in his life. A bit more petty, more ridiculous, if you thought about it, and a snob, to be sure, but he had never thought of him as evil, of what the First Order did as evil. Oh, he, he knew about Starkiller Base and the destruction of the Hosnian system, like everyone else, and yes, that was evil. But that was High Command's doing. It had nothing to do with what he saw of the First Order on Corellia. Here the First Order brought order and jobs and pride in one's accomplishments. What happened to the Hosnian system felt distant, unreal. After all, Monty hadn't known anyone personally who had died there, and there had been no news feed showing actual people suffering. The evil if that's what it was, was decidedly divorced from his everyday reality. 
until last night. Last night being when he saw the prisoners. Um, oh my goodness. I just, I love this deep contemplation about what evil is, what morality is, whether the First Order is good or bad, and all these things that Monty is going through. I think it's really wonderful. And I love that he happens to also be a gay character. Um, so, there's a lot more to this about um, feelings and not so much about queerness, but I, I did want to share this character because he does have such a an intricately deep relationship with his position in the First Order. So comment down below what you think about Monty Calais, what you think about this crisis of morality he's having. And remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter at Alia Morgan, and peruse my blog at thestarsreview.blogspot.com. May the Force be with you.